Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. We're going to continue with our um, Metal with Nick section today. I'm already on a run today, so I was said, let's just do a little bit more. This is dedicated to our dear Tony. Um, he literally provided us with the CD um, of the band members of Fate's Warning. So this is um, Arch and Matthias, uh, Winter Eternal. Uh, this is, I think, let me see. I have it pulled up here as well. And this is from 2019. And this is one of his favorite albums, um, he said in the description. He sent us both. And I'm going to do the title. Um, actually, I'm going to do the second track, Banderlust. Um, and let's see what happens, you know. Um, so we've done some Fates Warning on the channel. It's very progressive stuff and uh I'm, but it's progressive metal so just uh be warned it might get really heavy really um complex but you know uh, a lot of people are into that um especially myself i do love stuff like spastic ink and psychotic waltz which will we, we get into in the next video this is also provided by tony psychotic waltz very very hard to get this is like impossible music to buy i don't even know where he got that from but tony must have his connection somewhere so that's awesome all right so let's get into it um arch and matthias let's see reunited on this record let's get into it here okay here we go like a mixture between Bruce Dickinson and Kai Hansen from Halloween. Literally, ooh. Let's stop it right there for a second. So yeah, it definitely reminds me of Bruce Dickinson, but just like the register is a little bit 
I guess this his voice is not as deep as Bruce, even though like Bruce can also go very high, but he also does that uh, that push that from the I don't know where it comes from. I'm not a vocal coach, but it's just like that. I mean, any Iron Maiden fan who listens to this would say he sounds like a thinner voiced Bruce Dickinson. Literally the same technique. It's amazing. I'm I don't know. I, I don't want to say that like um he I think he was inspired by Bruce. Like who else? I mean Russell uh what's his name? Uh Russell Owens. Uh Russell Owen, I think. Um from Symphony X. No, Russell I'm sorry, Russell Allen. Russell Allen, uh he's also inspired by Bruce. I mean Come on. Um, so, yeah, wonderful. But I love the music. Uh, it's very the kind of prog that I listen to, like more chaotic, but still yet very beautiful and uh, not as uh, progressive as like I thought it would be. But also maybe it's also after Faint's Morning. So maybe it's like something a little more softer. Very cool. I love it. Um, really good. Like I can't say anything bad about this like it's just great music i'm really happy okay look let's keep going i just wanted to talk about the vocals a little bit because a lot of people are like well, even told me if you can't get past the vocals then you're in for the ride you know so basically for me no problem at all music is wonderful it's going into a new section i did rewind a little bit to get the full picture let's keep going <laughs> syncopated Beautiful. I can see literally like Iron Maiden fans like loving this. Like the way 
he phrases his uh, the lyrics very cool like just that's just like a style that you know it's i mean yes i guess you have to get used to it but i'm it's like like for example an iron maiden like uh, the rhyme of the ancient man like you know it's very a lot of people would not understand what they're talking about what they're singing they have to lead the, they have to read the lyrics because it is almost operatic this 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 kind of singing so really cool i definitely recommend this to any metal fan uh, who does not know fate's warning or the side project arch and and uh, matthews um tony was telling me about these guys for a while now and finally i i did it um, even though Alexia would have loved this as well. Um, but she's going to hear it. We put everything on our playlist. As you, If you guys want to check it out, it's called Nick and Lex. Um, I think, let me see. Uh, Nick and Lex Master List. And all the songs we've reacted to are on that list on Spotify. Um, it's not quite complete yet, but I'm adding like every day, like one or two songs when I can. But yeah, this was definitely great. Really cool. I love the whole thing. The drummer was really good. Um, the whole, the guitars and bass, every very tight um, project, really cool. Thank you, Tony, again for the CD and for the uh, just you know for letting us know that they're out there. And well, thank you, thank you for sitting through the video. See you in the next one. Take care.